sponsored by Trend Micro. What's up guys? Welcome to my smart YouTube studio tour. Let's go. Okay. All right, so this is the studio. If you've been following me for a while, you know, it's probably a long time making. I still hesitate to publish this because it is a work in progress, but you know, I wanna show you where we're at, where the studio is at. I've been wanting to create a space for a long time that is efficient in terms of recording and editing video, but also just a place where I can kind of hang out enjoy spending time since I do spend so much time in here and um, you know be creative and stuff like that so let me show you what we got pretty much everything in here can be controlled through my Apple home smart home first we got some furniture uh, I do get asked about these pretty often so I'll put links to everything we talk about down below in the description I got to give a shout out to my wife who helped also is holding the camera right now shout out to Caroline but she pretty much helped with all the design aspects of this room, including the carpet, the couch, the chairs, all this stuff. But we got a leather navy blue couch. I really love these chairs, these little swivel chairs. So sometimes when I need a little break from working and stuff, I'll come over here, sit, watch some TV and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's the furniture. I, it's, again, it's still a work in progress. So we're missing some things. I wanna get a coffee table out here. I would like to get, you know, a few other little things here and there, but we're getting there. It's almost there. So now let me kind of take you around the room and I'll show you all the smart stuff. I'll get to my desk set up over here, but let's start over here by the front uh, door. First, we have the smart lock, smart doorknob. Unlock the studio. Unlocking the studio. You know, with teenagers and kids, a lot of people in and out of the house, uh, this is cool to add a little lock. Don't worry, I'll work around you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I love this smart lock, it supports thread. Did a whole video on this pretty recently. You can check that out if that's something you're interested in. All right, and coming over here, you've probably seen some of this in the background of my YouTube videos, but we got my 100K plaque. We've got my Eve flare. So this is the portable little globe light, really cool. Uh, it's like waterproof and everything too. Changes colors, supports Apple Home over thread. Really love this thing. Got a little smell good going on right there. This is a satellite for my router. So this is hardwired to my main router, so I have good internet. Always recommend a good mesh Wi-Fi system for any smart home. I'm using the Orbi Wi-Fi 6E. Currently next to it, I have my abode security gateway. So uh, some of the sensors and stuff will connect to that, a little security system uh, for the house. All right, oh, in the corner, this is a Govi floor lamp. Now that doesn't support HomeKit or Apple Home natively. I am using HomeBridge to bring in some things here and there like that, so that can be integrated into my HomeKit scenes and automations. But most of the stuff that I use does support Apple Home natively. I do have some Lutron Caseta switches, so I'm a big fan of the Lutron Caseta stuff. All the Lutron stuff is really good, uh, but this is their newer dimmer and this supports Apple Home. This right here is actually a wireless Pico remote and this controls my smart shades, which I'll show you in just a second. And, oop, I accidentally hit the button. Uh, I do have an Acara door sensor right here that I can just use for automations and stuff like that when I open and close the door and just, you know, get a status. I can tell when my door has been opened or closed. Back here in the corner, I have just a fake plant and there is a little spotlight. So that's an outdoor spotlight. I can't remember who makes that. It's a Toya, I think, light, but I have that integrated into HomeKit through HomeBridge. These are those Lutron Serena shades. These are the honeycomb shades I was talking about. I love these things. Uh, they work great. They're quiet, 100% uh, blackout. So it's nice when we wanna you know, watch TV, watch some YouTube videos or something like that. Again, a work in progress. I don't know what I'm gonna put on this wall yet. I wanna get something cool up here. Haven't figured it out just yet. Right here is a Yeelight 
smart floor lamp. Um, I just have it included in some of my automations and stuff like that. Next to this, I have the AirVersa Smart Air Purifier. So that supports Apple Home over Thread. Really good air purifier, especially for like a smaller room like this. I uh, really like that. Just got some gear over here in the corner, some lights, tripods and stuff I'll break out every now and then when I need it. So this here is by Grid Studios and these are really cool. They make these like tech art pieces. They got all kinds of stuff. I have here the iPhone 5S because that was actually my first iPhone. All right, and uh, real quick, this is my gear closet. So I do have a, a car door sensor on this as well. So the light will come on and off when I open this and an, a car light switch is here controlling the light. This is, I put some shelves in here from floor to ceiling to house all of my gear and mostly smart home products and boxes and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's where I keep all the junk. All right, so over here, this is my desk area. This is where I actually film, where I do all my editing and stuff like that. Again, still a work in progress. I wanna put some stuff up here on the wall. Not sure, I do have some ideas, but just haven't implemented that yet. Let's go through my desk quickly. You guys let me know if you want a more detailed video on like my desk setup and everything that I'm using and I can do that, but lots of lights. So I've got a Nanoleaf light strip behind the desk right here shining on the wall. These are the Yee Light Cubes. I have a Herman Miller chair that was very expensive, but probably worth every penny. I was having a lot of back pain and stuff, sitting in a really crappy cheap chair for a long time. So I splurged and got this and um, it does make all the difference in the world. The desk itself is an autonomous desk. So it's a sit stand desk. I can raise it up and lower it, which is nice. You know, it's good to stand every so often. Slide this out the way. Um, and hopefully cable management isn't too bad. Always needs a little bit of work. Uh, but again, this is where I do all my recording and uh, everything over here. So powering my editing station is the M1 MacBook Pro. Still using this, works great. I have just one cable that plugs this in so I can take it with me if I wanna go edit or do something somewhere else. Uh, and this plugs into a dock right here, which connects my monitor, SD card slots, all that kind of stuff. We have an ultra wide monitor right here that I use for editing, really love this. I mounted everything in a way that again, would make it hopefully as efficient as possible for editing and video recording. So when it's time to record, I can simply move this out the way. This is another arm that I have mounted with my camera usually on it. The camera's right there now, but normally my camera is right here and I can kind of swivel this in, out, around. I can do top down right over the desk if I need to. I shoot all my talking head videos from here. When I'm done recording, I can simply move the monitor back there. Over here, I have a iPad stand. What I really love about this is it's a magnetic stand and it charges my iPad wirelessly, magnetically, which is really cool. This is a Pataka stand. Again, I'll put links to all this stuff down below. Now, while we're here on the iPad and the Mac and everything, let me go ahead and tell you about today's sponsor, which is Trend Micro. I have been using their premium security suite to protect all of my devices for years now against ransomware, viruses, malware, and other threats like that. Just added protection for all of my devices. With the premium security suite, you can protect up to 10 devices. So I can use this for all of my family's devices. It also includes a VPN, which is really nice. So I use this when I'm traveling and stuff. Having a VPN is great you know, if you're out there using like public Wi-Fi and stuff like that. You also get access to other features like identity theft protection, parental controls, and even 24 seven emergency assistance. Check out the link in the description and use code SHANE10 for 10% off your purchase of the premium security suite. Again, you can protect up to 10 devices with that. And big thanks to Trend Micro for sponsoring today's video and for protecting all of my devices. I have a Stream Deck Mini that I have been working on and programming to run different scenes and automation. So this is pretty cool. So if I push the green button, it'll change all the lights in the room to like green and blue colors. 
even changes the wallpaper on the Mac, which you saw, which is pretty cool. And I use a screensaver that kind of mimics the colors of the desktop wallpaper. So kind of created these different scenes and stuff. So for when I'm editing late at night, I have one that sets things to a more warm color. I have a really bright white beachy kind of thing, which is pretty cool. I like this one during the daytime, sets a lot of my nano leaf lines uh, to a bright, cool color. And another thing that's pretty cool is this is the Akara Cube. So this can actually be programmed to run any HomeKit scenes. So I put different little colored dots on here to trigger different scenes. And whenever I set this down, it can actually trigger and run a different HomeKit scene, which it's not doing. Let's try that again. There we go. It's a fun little device to have to change HomeKit lights and stuff like that. Over here, I have a dock for my iPhone. And what I like about this is that it also has a slip out battery power bank that I can take with me while I'm editing and stuff. I can just slide my phone right on there. And if I need some extra power on the go, I can just take that little power bank with me. You can put your AirPods on here too to charge. I've got a few spots to charge my AirPods. All right, now you might notice the Google Nest Hub Max over here. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know I'm all about Apple Home. I have this over here really just temporarily for you know testing purposes. So now that Matter is a big thing in the smart home world, I'm testing more Matter products, which means I got this mainly so I can test out Matter products. All right, last couple things here. I've got some lights in the corner for recording video. I have some vocal link floor lights, which look cool um, over here to the side. Again, everything kind of reflects the same colors and stuff when I change, um, you know, different themes and stuff like that in the room. Over here, uh, you may have seen this in a past video. So this is an American flag and I, this is kind of a tribute to my grandpa. So I got a lot of his military coins. Some of these are ones that I earned in my, as my time as a contractor, but most of these were given to me from my grandfather and I've been kind of collecting those up here as a tribute to him. Anyways, I got a M1 light strip, the Gobi M1 light strip around here. I do need to get an extension because you can see it doesn't go all the way. So I'm waiting to get that now. Uh, but this has been just a cool little tribute to my grandpa to remind me of him while I'm sitting here editing and working all the time. Over here we have more of the lines and I've got the black skins on top of them that make them, you know, this black color. And these are the nano leaf shapes I have in between here. So really love the look of this. And here at the center is my TV. This is a LG, does support Apple Home natively. And we've got more of the E-Lite cubes, two HomePods. These are the newer HomePods. I have these set up as default audio for the TV. There's an Apple TV uh, mounted actually behind here. So I have an Apple TV mounted back here and I use that to watch all my TV up here, watch YouTube and stuff like that. And a great setup, especially for a smaller room, uh, having the two HomePods as a stereo pair for an Apple TV. Absolutely love this. I haven't put a light strip around the TV yet. I was, wasn't sure if that would be too much, but I'm kind of holding out for the Nanoleaf 4D. I don't know if you guys remember that from CES. Might be a good addition here with all this nano leaf stuff around here. So stay tuned for that. That might be coming next. Underneath here, uh, <laughs> nothing really, just some junk storage, a couple smart home products. I actually have an OG HomePod down there. So that was kind of replaced with some of the newer ones. I don't really have anywhere for the OG HomePod. I actually have some Blu-rays that I've been meaning to digitize and save over on my Synology NAS. I have a Plex Media server on that with all my old DVDs and stuff on there. So those I have yet to convert and I will do that hopefully one day and get those up in the attic. Like I said, we're still a work in progress. Can't wait to get something up here. Maybe I'll do some update videos. Again, if there's anything specific you guys wanna see uh, in more detail from today, let me know. If you know me, you know I like my bourbon. 
this was a recent gift someone gave to me and really cool got these Watley glasses here with the coasters and everything so might have to give me a little whiskey cart on the back YouTube this guy's my handle there Shane creates so this is a really cool gift and I think I might display this somewhere got some ideas I don't know stay tuned for more let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about anything specific that I showed you here today thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video